All right, I'm guilty of this myself. Everybody seems to do it. There's plenty of tutorials, boot camps, courses that all try to teach you the MERN stack. If you're not familiar with what MERN is, that is Mongo, Express, React, and Node. There's other variations like the mean stack or the MEMV, right, with Angular or Vue, but it's usually the same back-end framework express with node and then you have your front end and your no sequel the reason why the mern stack is so recommended is pretty much for one reason alone and it's because it's all in javascript i'm starting to question whether or not that is the best advice i quickly want to get into why people tell you to learn it all in javascript and if it's not obvious it's because Everything's in JavaScript. And most of us take a path of learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And then we're told once we know enough JavaScript to go and learn React. And then once we learn React, then we're told to go into the MERN stack or learn a backend language. And keeping everything in JavaScript makes it easier, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the best path to take because there's a lot of good reasoning why you shouldn't just learn the MERN stack. Mostly because MERN is not as widely used as other stacks and Node and Express aren't as popular on the back end as you would think considering how much everyone tells you to learn the MERN stack. You would think that it's like, oh, every job is Mongo, Express, and Node. It's not. And the truth is that there's a lot of other jobs out there that use Java or C Sharp or PHP or insert whatever other backend language and backend framework there is out there. There's really not as many MERN jobs. So then why tell beginners to learn that? Why not tell a beginner to go and research their job market and tell them to learn the backend language or the stack that's more popular in the area that they're gonna be applying. Like that seems like better advice. I kind of do think that is better advice, but at the same time, I also feel that when you're learning, it's already so hard as it is and you're just starting to feel a little comfortable with JavaScript and you're just starting to figure out basic things in programming to then go and throw you into the deep end on Java or C Sharp or even PHP that's a little more simpler, like just throwing you into something that's completely different from what you've been learning and expect you to just adapt and figure it out. Again, I'm not sure which is better. So then I kind of fall into that category of people that tell you to learn MERN because of the fact that it's simple and it's easier. And I don't necessarily think that NoSQL or like MongoDB, which is NoSQL, like I don't necessarily think that that's a better approach. I personally think that you should learn SQL. I think that SQL is super powerful. I think that most jobs, real world jobs, are gonna be using a SQL database, a relational database. Most jobs are gonna use that. But then we tell you to, to learn Mongo, which is, is funny because it does feel like bad information and I'm torn and I'm, I'm trying to make this video as, as honest as possible. And if I go back and forth is because this is what's been on my mind as I talk about this. I've had a lot of coaching calls recently where people are asking for this advice and I've tried to talk it out with them and I'm doing that again now. And I've talked with other people. I think I talked to Eddie on the interview that I had with him about this same exact thing. I've started to lean towards telling people to learn something like Next.js or Remix because of the fact that it's easier to transition into that because those are React frameworks than it would be to learn like Node and Express, but then is that bad information? I think that's pretty good for like someone who wants to focus on front end because now you've kind of learned the basics of JavaScript and then you, you learned how to use React and now you move into a React framework where you could start implementing CRUD functionality within a React based framework so you don't have to learn all the different Node and Express stuff, but then you're really working within a specific framework 
but at least you're just doing it in React, which if you're going for like a front end developer job, you're more than likely going to be working in React. So then why not learn some of the basics of CRUD using a React framework and still be able to learn more about authentication if you want to, because you can do that in Next or Remix, or if you want to actually set up a database and set up relationships, you can do it with something like Supabase or, or another backend as a service that offers a relational database because a lot of those concepts are the concepts that we're trying to teach you by telling you to go learn the MERN stack. And at least then you'll be using a technology that's a little more popular if you learn like Next.js because I think it's more popular than MERN at this point. But then that also feels like bad information. And this is a ramble and a rant and I, I don't care. Like just talking to you like I would be talking to a friend who actually doesn't talk back and I just keep talking over them. But what I'm saying is that me saying this out loud as an experienced developer just shows how confusing the market is for junior developers who are just trying to figure this stuff out on their own and not having the experience that I have. Like I'm genuinely trying to give you the best advice that I can and not just make a video on like, why well, you should learn this and that because th 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 all those videos are bullshit anyways. I say if I had to tell someone right now whether or not MERN is the best way to go or learning something like Next or Remix is a better alternative if you're going down the front end route and you're learning React and all that stuff, I would almost feel like, like it's better to go with Next or Remix. Keep throwing Remix in there because I, I've worked with Next a little bit and they're very similar, but I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Vercel and like their ecosystem and how they're kind of very proprietary. And I think Remix is a better alternative and you know, buzzwords and frameworks, whatever. What I'm trying to say is that in a perfect world, someone who is new should go out and learn whatever the most popular tech is that will get them hired if their goal is to, in fact, get a job as a self-taught programmer moving from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React into a more full stack position or make themselves marketable for a full stack role or a front end developer who understands full stack development, right? Because the truth is, if you're focusing on React and stuff, you're still going to be a front end dev and learning MERN just is more for you to be able to understand CRUD functionality and understand how a full stack application works. But many of us who take that path are still kind of taking the path of a front end developer. And then I would say, yeah, go, go learn Java if there's a gazillion Java jobs where you're applying. But I almost feel that to just grasp some of the concepts of full stack development or at least CRUD functionality, like learning Next or Remix or another JavaScript full stack framework that allows you to work in React or whatnot, I think that's almost better because I think you'll be able to understand how some of that stuff works without having to set up a server and do a lot of the things that falls more into DevOps and heavy full stack dev work. At the end of the day, you kind of want a junior developer who's just getting started that's focusing on front end to get how all of that stuff works, but you don't need him to be so deep in the weeds on the back end stuff because unless you're applying for full stack positions that actually work in the tech that you have been building in, then you're really going to be applying for mostly front end jobs and telling you to go MERN isn't really going to be valuable when you start applying for jobs that have Java or C sharp. Like you're going to be at the same disadvantage as someone who has been building a Next or Remix or another full stack JavaScript framework. I think personally, that's, that's my opinion on that. Because if I was to look at a junior dev, somebody who's applying for their first job and they have some really cool projects that are built using Next.js and it has CRUD functionality and they've got authentication and they got a database set up and they've got all this stuff going on in there and their projects are really, really cool and they're doing a lot. The other applicant is doing the same thing with the MERN stack, but the stack that I'm hiring for is not Next or MERN, it's let's say Java Spring Boot, then like it doesn't really matter to me. 
whether or not they built it in Nex or they built it in Mern, and I feel that both of those applicants would be equally qualified. And if they're both showcasing similar functionality in their applications that they're using as their projects on their resume or their portfolio, then I feel that like I wouldn't be like, oh, this guy knows Mern and that guy did that all in Next.js. Maybe you could think that way a little bit because it does feel like well, there's, it's more true full stack when you build in a MERN f stack than when you build in Next. But again, it goes back to like, you're doing a lot of the same functionality at the end of the day. I don't know, this has been a rant. And I just wanna say that after all this is said and done, I still really don't know whether or not go learn MERN is good advice or bad advice. But I think that it's the easiest advice that we can give a lot of newcomers, and that's why we keep recommending it. And I'm leaning towards changing that advice now to go learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and then learn like Next.js. I'll say Next.js for, for the sake of keeping it simple, but you could do Remix instead. But I think I'm changing my opinion on that but I don't think that it's bad to say go learn MERN as long as you let the person know that you're telling them to learn that for the sake of keeping things simple for a beginner and not changing the backend language to complicate things for someone who's just trying to conceptualize what it means to build a full stack application. As long as like you have that asterisk in there and you tell them, hey, the MERN stack might not be the best for applying for jobs because not that many companies are hiring for that and you might be better off learning PHP or whatever other backend language. Most people don't like PHP, although I love it lately because I've been working in Laravel, but that's a topic for another video. Whatever, C Sharp, Java, Rust, uh, Ruby, whatever. I feel that, that that's a big like fine print on go learn MERN stack. And I don't know how I feel that like most boot camps teach the MERN stack, especially when a lot of them are like trying to hire developers in local areas and they have connections with businesses that, that will hire their graduates. And if those businesses are in fact not using MERN, but that boot camp teaches MERN, then that's kind of weird. And I would feel that they should actually be focusing on teaching their students, whatever the local businesses that are actually hiring their students is using, but, or are using, but whatever, I I'm going off on a tangent here. I feel like this was kind of like a big brain dump of me just trying to talk this out. And again, if I'm this confused about this, it's extra confusing for a beginner and trying to figure this all out kind of sucks. And even having experience, it's hard to give you a straight answer. And I just hope that this was helpful. If you've been on the fence of like, oh, I need to learn MERN because that's what everybody's saying that I should learn. But you've been thinking about like, oh, since I know React, I'll use Next.js and start building something there. I think that that's a, a great, great way to go. You can start building some serious stuff with that and then you won't have to you know, learn extra stuff that might not actually help you in the job hunt. All right. With all that said, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.